I'm writing a book at the moment. And <clears throat> I'm just acknowledging the shortness of life. I'm acknowledging that this video will... Can I just breathe, please? Jesus Christ. Shit, man. I'm acknowledging the shortness of life. I'm acknowledging the fact that everything is finite. I'm acknowledging the fact that this video will outlive me. This video in it will it will be the same in ten years, but I will be a completely different person, completely changed. Obviously, I can say hopefully in a better position in life, richer, stronger, more handsome, happier, family still alive, etc., etc. But I doubt that to be true. One thing is going to go: family not going to be alive, most likely. You can always make more money, but you can never make more time. Time is the single-handedly most important asset you have in life. And how you spend your time is incredibly important. You can trade your time for money in a job. But then again, you're just prostituting your time for money. Temporal prostitution, as MJ DeMarco likes to put it as. I love Eric Satay's work. His musical genius is often quite exhilarating and exasperating. I'm putting it in the background right now. It's Genosyne? Genos oh, how the fuck do I say that? I downloaded this song because I knew that the Wi-Fi would go, but then I would still wanted something to listen to that I really liked, which is this classical music. I think my classical music just makes me so at peace. As I read this book and as I make the choices that I make moving on with life, I'm gonna take this course, I'm gonna exercise, I'm gonna read this book. I'm gonna try to apply it in my own business. I'm gonna try to do this. I'm gonna try to do that. I'm, gonna, I'm going to do it. I'm going to apply this book in my business. I'm going to take this course. I'm going to study up. I'm going to learn. As I make these choices in life, I cannot like help but acknowledge the shortness of life. Life is short. I don't want to see people I love around me grow old. And I especially don't want to see people around me that I love be disappointed in me before I become successful. Someone like a Mike Tyson and Customato. I acknowledge the shortness of life. I want my grandkids to see this as well, because I'm gonna have a fuck ton of kids. I want my kids to see this, I want my grandkids to see this, and I want every other young person watching this video to understand that one day, this is all gonna go. It might seem definite for now, but sure as hell isn't. Sure as hell isn't. Nothing's finite in life. Nothing's forever. And we have this illusion in which we wake up every day in the same room, we wake up every day, do the same things, go to the same workplace, do this, do that. And everything feels fine. Everything feels as if it's going to be the same place, same thing, every single day forever, but boom before you know it, you're 30. Boom before you know it, you're 35. Boom before you know it, you're 40, 50, 60, 70. And if you don't have your shit together by then, you're gonna be punished severely. Severely. I remember I was working at my friend's place, a volunteer job, the other day. And I was working there and I kind of enjoyed working there because it was with my friends, but it was quite exhausting work, six hours of shift. I was gonna work longer if I had a little coffee break in between. I think I'm gonna drink some coffee now, actually. And I thought to myself, because he was telling me, oh yeah, I'm, you're giving out these leaflets, like, bro, you're actually doing other people a favor. 
because you're giving all these leaflets and being 50% off and this is that and and if you keep working here man bro you're gonna get amazing networking opportunities etc etc et bro stop fucking coping you're making me my ears hurt you're making my ears bleed you're making me cringe you're making me not want to work in this place I was working there because I love him. I love him as a friend. I love him as a colleague. I love him as a partner. Seeing him work, seeing him run in life. I'm not gay. Chill out, guys. Just genuine brotherly love. And what happened here was. Fuck, man. I, I, what happened here was. I literally heard him say all this bullshit. I'm like, bro, chill out. And he paid for my lunch as well, so it's great. But I was willing to pay back. I didn't expect anything, so it was a pleasant surprise. It surprised me. Thank you very much. Next week Wednesday, I'll have to help you out. I want to bring my new fridge. I saw Ham's video where he was like saying how he didn't want to call pen. He didn't want to. He didn't want to like you know lie, be sad, etc., etc. But it's often difficult to not call pen, not be sad when honestly when I think so fine. I don't want to turn older. I don't want to turn 18. It's still four months until I turn 18. You know what I have to I'm not doing good right now, I'm eating my problems away. <laughs> I'm trying to think about what the next thing to say is, but it's quite alarming. You know, I don't want to go old. I think 18 is pretty old, at least in my my life, because 18, that year, a one year to me is one seventeenth of my life. One year to a person who's like 40, 50, that's one fifty of his, 50th of his life. A year doesn't matter as much. And time, as you move on, your choices kind of have a less of a ripple effect in time, less of a positive or negative effect. A more negative effect, sure, but less of a positive effect, definitely, with the passage of time. But I try to become a millionaire at 50 or at 35, like the Adam guy before. It's going to be immensely difficult comparatively to a person who's 80 trying to become a millionaire. But if you take drugs at the same like, age, like if you're 18 and 50 and you take like meth or some shit, it's crazy shit. I do not recommend doing that. It will have insane, if not worse, detrimental effects on your age. It's a weird thing. Life can only get worse. It can go down a downward, it can go in a downward spiral. Prior to lead to an upward spiral. This is the last one I have. 
This is the last snack I got from Vietnam. It tastes amazing. I'm not gonna eat it, actually. I just had two. This is so fucking good. I love peanuts. Yo. It's just weird. I acknowledge the shortness of life. I acknowledge how my choices of what haven't been the best. I haven't, been, I haven't been the smartest guy. I haven't done the smartest thing on the chessboard. I've been quite an idiot all my way through my life. It's quite difficult to acknowledge. And of course, it's relative to the point where you see it right. People will tell me in the comment section below if there are any people that comment. Oh yeah, eighties. <clears throat> Fuck my nuts in my throat. <laughs> people will tell me, oh yeah, but seventeen is not old. Seventeen so young, and I wish I was seventeen. Because when I was your age, I was an idiot, right? But you at your age, you're thinking about this stuff now, you're starting your own business now, you're getting fit now, etc, etc. You're getting all the good habits now, but like, bro, self-improvement is constant suffering until you reach your goal. I like the promise of desire, right? When you desire something, you promise to make everything unpleasant and you promise to, you know, hit your life until you reach that desire, you reach that goal, you reach that aspiration. You, you complete the task, you complete the mission. You know, Joey Diaz says it's the best. This is the year of the fucking soldier. The soldier, the soldier doesn't want to go to war, but he has to go to war. He has to defend his country. Same with you. You have to do what you need to, you need to do, especially as a man. If you don't do it as a man, if you don't achieve what you want to achieve as a man, life gets immensely difficult. If you don't have something going for you, life gets immensely difficult. It's incredibly embarrassing and shameful and annoying. People will tell me, oh, you're 18 so young, man. 18, like, you, you, you bro, da, 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 da. bro, 18 is not fucking young. You're not a kid anymore. You're a young adult. You're not even a teenager, teenager anymore. You are effectively a teenager, but you are a young adult. You gotta get, you, people are expecting you to get your shit together at this time when they, they themselves didn't have their shit together at 18. People are expecting you to have everything together and to be, be smart and think about your future, etc., etc. When they didn't even know what the fuck they were doing at 18. And they'll give you comforting lies. Yeah, when I was 18, I don't know what I was doing either, which is the truth. Is it, But the comforting lie is, it's all gonna be okay. The fuck is not all gonna be okay? You can easily end up wasting years of your fucking life. You can easily end up dedicating years of your life to bullshit. The stuff you don't really want to do. Like, especially in school. I think nothing has been more satisfying to me than creating these YouTube videos. They're just talking to the camera and posting it up in line. And now I'm going to have to keep it up for uh, my live clips channel and my TikTok. Nothing has been more satisfying to me. Nothing has been more rewarding for me. Nothing has been more rewarding for me than learning to code and learning to... Learning physics all by myself and everything by myself. Jesus Christ, man. The idea of success that most of our parents give us is that you need to trade your time for money, you need to get a job. You need to get a job. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. You need to get a job. You need to get a job. You need to get a job. You need to trade your time for money. You need to trade your life away for money. And after you trade enough life away for money, you can get a, a house or mortgage and you can buy food and you can buy a car. The finance. You get you can get more debt and more loans and more debt and more loans and you can barely pay for food and if something went wrong with your job, well, you're out you're out of work. You're out of money. You don't know how, you don't have any skills that can help you earn money otherwise. And you're fucked. Thank you, parents. Let's say for example that your parents couldn't work anymore. They got too old to the point where they can't work anymore and you have to provide for them. Could you even provide for them? 
My mom was shouting at me yesterday about this. She's like, oh, I'm gonna leave this house and you could go. I'm gonna go somewhere far away. I'm gonna disappear and you can pay the, for the bills you by yourself. Wherever possible. I'll probably be able, barely be able to pay the bills without my money, my money making my business. I'll probably be barely be able to sustain myself with food. I'll probably have to eat like rice and tuna for a very long time. And if not rice and tuna, then a rice and dry fish. Oh, honestly, like, well, I'll be fucking dead broke. I'll have me, myself, and this camera. I don't, I don't think I'll be able to afford a hot water bill. I just have to take cold showers, and bro, life will be incredibly tough. All the comforts that I have right now, all the luxuries that I have right now, will disappear in a heartbeat, in a flash. And there's nothing I can do about it unless I take immense action towards increasing my income. Just give myself the answer. And you can't in life you can't trade your time for money. You can trade your time for money in the beginning of the business or the beginning of a job when you need if you need a job. So that initial income. If you want to use that to invest in the business. But then again, the problem with having that initial income from the job is that you end up coping and falling victim to lifestyle inflation. Because your life is so shit, you end up well fucking about and how do I say this? You end up fucking your entire life up and you end up just destroying everything so far that you've created. All the money you spend, like I, I use my, I spend my money, all my money from my paychecks on food. My other friends, they used to spend all their money uh, from their paychecks on clothes, and it was addicting to them. They were literally victims of materialism, of lifestyle inflation. And this all goes under the I acknowledge the shortness of life because how can you just perpetually trade your time for money? When time is so finite, when time is a non-renewable, inexhaustible, no, not inexhaustible, exhaustible resource, it's the most important thing. But we as humans, we're idiots. We spend all our waking hours, waking minutes, waking seconds, waking days, waking months, waking years on stupid shit, movies, TV shows, anime, manga, video games, manhwa. The Korean manga, porn, social media, God, not God, God's positive. Then God in like in, um, in an angry way. We spent all our time on this stupid shit, which has no ROI, none whatsoever. And then after we're old and we're in that retirement home that our kids put us in, we just think to ourselves, how the fuck did we go so far? How the how the hell? Do we mess up so bad? A lot of people they they just live to do it all over again, which I don't think we enough to talk about. They live to do it all over again. Go to school, get a job, find a girl, find a guy, start a family. Take care of the kid until you're 50. Now the kids are grown. Now the now the kids are like 20, 25, and you're 50. And now you kind of just have no life purpose. You're just useless. You're just waiting around to die. That can't be my lifestyle. That can't be me. I do want to have kids. I do want to have a bunch of kids. Don't get me wrong. I'm not against a nuclear family. I'm not, I think it's beautiful to have a nuclear family. I think it's beautiful to have people you can come home to. A wife that you can have consistent... Um, love to <laughs> and then you can look into the eyes and be genuinely love this person and enamored and engrossed with this person I think it's beautiful to have that however it is completely ugly to be with a person that you dislike kind of you know it's like a, like a sexless marriage the person you dislike and you're just doing it to take care of the kids and you're just having it just, it's like, the, like you have sex once a year if you're a good boy the fuck is that shit that girl that girl has needs she's gonna get that her needs met somewhere and it's not gonna be you and she's gonna get the Gucci bag and the Gucci purse somewhere. It's not gonna be fucking you. Jesus Christ. Oh, I can't make a fist. I need to. Oh, I need to put some ice on my, my wrist. Uh, the new fridge is coming, and I just. My, my, my power fridge turned off. I acknowledge the shortness of life. I acknowledge the time flies. 
I'm about to go. How much time do I have on the clock? I have 18 minutes left. I'm going to spend the rest of this time reading. I already surpassed the amount. I was on page 14 before in the psychology of the cell by Brian Tracy. I'm on page 62 now. I'm going to lay down and read and chill. Then I'm going to go meditate outside. Like 15 minutes to go. I want to meditate for half an hour like I did before. Uh, and then I want to try to hit the hour today. So I can, if I, I meditate in 15 minute sections, in four sets I reach an hour. And if I can reach an hour of meditation, I think I'll, I'll be a different plane of focus and concentration, peace of mind and presence. And it's often difficult for me to have a little bit of presence right now because I have nothing else. And then I'll probably exercise after, after I exercise. I'll crack on with video editing and after I crack on with video editing I'll maybe turn on the Wi-Fi and then but I'll turn on the Wi-Fi in incremental focus bursts in which I'll we'll turn on the Wi-Fi I'll watch the courses I'll download the courses I'll study with low the courses I have I'll upload the YouTube videos I'll edit the stuff I can, uh, stuff on my phone after I've done the clipping like with CapCut you need with CapCut. You need Wi-Fi in order to make subtitles and the Sigma music. I can add like my friend was telling me, hey, clip up your videos, add Sigma music, add subtitles, post it to TikTok, watch yourself get millions of views. I was like, sure, I have to do that. I do that with my main channel as well. I do that with all my all my other channels. I have to, and then I will most likely. Bro, it's like fucking World War 3 outside. You hear the dog? It's dying. I don't bring the camera with me. Probably exercise, train my mind focused, do work, video edit, finally. For organize my PC, do clipping on my shit. I have so much work to do. Video editing alone, that'll take me like a good week of just solid wake up video editing, wake up video editing, wake up video editing. There is so much content I need to unpack. So much podcast. I have podcasts, I have Discord dating shows, I have gaming videos, I have my own speech channel, I have the extra videos I need to record for Jimmy Chun, the Big Money channel. I have so much fucking shit to do, like it's it's completely nuts. Um I don't know. Catch you guys in a bit. Thank you for staying here with me today. For how long? Twenty-three minutes. God motherfucking damn. Catch you guys in the next one.